Hi, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the Cal Sports Report. Along with the head coach, Jeff Tedford, I'm Todd McKim. A little bit later on in the program, I mean, think about the program that we have for you. We have an NCAA champion. We have an Olympic gold medalist. We have one of the all-time great football players in Cal history, Chuck Muncie. We've got a lot in store for you in this show, but we're going to start, first of all, with football and the big game against the Stanford Cardinal. Coach, you go into the game uh, knowing that the Stanford, for 365 days, had held the ax. What was, uh, you know, obviously the thought process this week to try to get your guys geared up for the game, but at the same time, not too emotionally involved so that they don't, you know, play with... Uh, you know, the professionalism you'd like them to play with. Well, it was quite evident early in the week that uh, motivation wasn't going to be a problem. <laughs> you know, our, our guys did a really nice job, especially our seniors. Uh, it's the first time we didn't have the axe, and all week long I could tell our guys were really preparing well, highly motivated, um, a lot of focus on what was going on. Uh, and uh, then I thought Friday, you know, there was a key point there where we normally every year we've had where the axe comes out on Friday to see, the, see it the day before the game. And I told them, you know what normally happens here? Well, mm -hmm. it's not happening. And it's important to get that axe back. And I'm, I'm really happy for our seniors, the student body, the alumni. I know bragging rights is a big thing, uh, especially the week of that game. And, and so uh, I feel great that, that these seniors are leaving with the axe. Let's uh, break down this first half a little bit. Uh, you were able to get the ball to start the football game and immediately got some points, thanks in large part to a, a phenomenal effort by Javid Best. Not necessarily how the play is drawn up, but he kind of made something happen out of nothing. He really did. Uh, got the ball out to him on the perimeter. A guy came up and missed a tackle, and, and then he kind of took over from there, reversed his field. Um, everyone else kept playing, snapped a whistle and set up some nice blocks for him. Even Kevin Riley had a nice block on that play. And uh, Javid made, made something happen and, and uh, put us in position. Obviously, we like to have a touchdown there. We missed a ball in the passing game, uh, but came away with three points. So you take the 3 nothing lead, and then it kind of stays that way as we get into the second quarter. And you were finally able to break a big play in the passing game. We were able to isolate Shane Vereen as a wide receiver out on the, on the edge. Yeah, we shifted Shane out and got him one-on-one -on, -one on the safety. And that was a matchup we were looking for. And Shane did a nice job of getting by the guy. And then, and then Kevin put some nice air on the ball. We had nice pass protection up front, you know, to give Kevin time to let it develop. And then he put nice air under the ball, and Shane did the rest, run under it, make a great catch, and run in the end zone. Now, Stanford uh, had the time of possession in the first half uh, with their running game. Toby Gerhardt, obviously a tremendous back, went, had been over 1,000 yards already in this game. But they had three red zone opportunities and came away only with three points. How important was that for your team? Oh, it's, it's crucial. You know, I mean, they were moving the ball fairly well in the first half and to get down in there they fumbled once down in there uh, right before half made the goal line stand which was huge for momentum and they're inside the one yard line mm -hmm. they got a big physical offensive line a big power back and for our guys to knock them back force them to settle for a field goal right there because they lost yards in that in that series down the goal line right there so tremendous effort by our, our defensive line linebackers and even Sid coming off the edge at corner. You know it's interesting because in the matchup prior to the game they had Stanford had the number one red zone offense in the league. I think they had only failed twice in the red zone all year long and your team has been number one almost all year long in red zone defense so that, that was a great matchup there and you guys prevailed. Yeah it was and, and Coach Gregory and the defensive staff do a great job of putting them in position but you get down there you know it's about who wants it more and I thought our guys did a phenomenal job of coming off the ball blowing the gaps. Uh, Devin Bishop got through there, made the first hit. Um, you know, Tyson broke through there and, and tripped Toby down on the first one. And, and so, great effort by the defense. So the defense uh, got it done in the first half. At the end of the first uh, two periods of play, it was Cal leading Stanford 10-3. to When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half and a lot more. So stay with us. Welcome back to the show. At the half, California led Stanford at 10 to 3. Uh, defenses had played very well in the first half. The third quarter broke the game open. What did you discuss at halftime? What changes did you make, if any, uh, to put yourself in position to uh, break this game open? Didn't make a lot of changes. Uh, you know, really, it was about uh, just doing the things that we needed to do in all phases of the game. Felt like there were plenty of plays still on the play sheet uh, offensively. Felt like the defense just needed to be a little bit more disciplined, try to get to the passer a little bit more. But we're doing a fair job on the run game. 
And uh, so just come out and play hard and continue to, to give great effort. And, and the guys did a great job of that. All right, that's exactly what happened as we begin the third quarter. Let's get the call from Joe Start. 